Hello and welcome back to our Austria campaign in Mayo and Texas 2.5. Ah, oh, the fucking Hussite Rebellion. Great. Fucking great. Uh, it's something that obviously doesn't appear in uh, vanilla EU4 because it's before the start date. I'm fairly sure it was like, you know, the whole thing started in like the 1404, 1405, something like that. So, it's understandable it's not in, but it'd be really cool if it was. Uh, I kinda like that stability increase interval, and tolerance of heretics is irrelevant. Uh, gaining church influence sucks, but fuck it, we can always just steal their church property. Um, I would need one of that to happen. That's fine. Nothing too worrying there. Let's uh, spend 15 points on... Becoming Pope Man, because Pope Man gives me lots of bonuses. Like, Pope Man gets uh, an extra diplomat. Actually, it's way less than it used to be. That's, uh, hmm. I would have loved it if there was some Diplo rep in there, but there's not. Diplomat is nice, though. That's that's going to be really helpful. Yeah, this is totally the opposite of my um, current Imperium game. Or I'm like, oh, I've got five diplomats, who gives a fuck, I'm not going to use any of them. And this is like, I need to improve relations with everybody at all times. It's like, totally, totally stark difference. Also, yeah, I, st I still need to uh, figure out why I cannot um, get rid of this gavel kind garbage. So, if anyone knows, feel free to tell me. Faith's Bastion, I mean, that's just, we need to become the Defender of the Faith in the next age. Ages aren't a thing, so, who knows. Um, wait, I don't need Humanist. I read this wrong. One of the following must be true. I need one of those, or I need one of those. So why didn't they just put it all in one fucking thing? Basically, I need one of any of those, not two. I'd still say Humanist is the best there, other than Innovativeness. But yeah, Innovative is level five, uh, 20 admin before you can take it. So, no luck there. On this, I still need Padova. Let's have a look at my aggressive expansion. It's at zero across the board, so I'm afraid, Mr. Um, Padua, you're about to get fucked. Verona, no, uh, is any of these Padua? Because then, there we go, Padua, we're improving relations with you. What a waste of time, you're about to die. Alright, so, yeah, we've got too many men, but as soon as we're at war, it's not going to matter. Uh, I'm going to wait until I get a little bit more morale. Pass the Witchcraft Act. Yes. No, no witch hunting in my country, thank you very much. Ah, this, but seriously though, where is my goddamn getting rid of Gavelkind decision? Oh, and I'm in great power. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so if I was to great power stuff with you, what could I do? Break alliance, influence nation, take on your debt, intervene in wars. Um, who are the other great powers? Majorai, England is there, Castile is there. No France. Notice, no France. France, not there. And this is interesting because this is development. This isn't just pure population anymore. Population obviously plays a large part of it, but this is development. Half of my subjects development, so my, my subjects have like 82 development between them. A new Pope! Not me, you bastard. I will, I will invest in the Pope, though. And I think one more month's gonna be perfectly acceptable. We're just gonna go and murder the guy. Get some more prestige, that's gonna come in very handy, as it always does. I kinda want you to be on the throne right now. Albrecht is way better than Alexander. You need to rule for shit ton a shit long time before you can... Uh, be gotten rid of. Um, yeah, let's let's get that, and then we can get that. 
So for five years now, we will have... Sorry, for six for six years? I'm not sure you're entirely truthful on that one. But yeah, uh, we'll have that trade efficiency. Uh, oh shit, yeah, we got a truce. Until when is the truce? 20... 1425, are you shitting me? Wow, okay. Trent! You're allied with Mantua and Verona. We don't have claims on Verona. You are allied with Lucca and Pisa, right? Pisa is allied with Arborea, Padua, and Siena. Uh, Lucca is allied with Genoa, Padua, and Siena. Do I have, like, any... There's no alliance chain thing that I can do to get at war with you. So, it looks like it's your lucky day. Uh, I guess it's your lucky decade. So we're leaving you alone for fucking a hundred... What, not hundred, sorry, ten years. And instead, we're going to go and, and, and murder Trent, who has... Decided to run away. Gore's seat of cardinal. That gives me two. It's quite nice. And I believe you're idle because there's no one with any aggressive expansion. So instead, neighborings. Poland, Hungary. Hum. Yeah, what a waste of fucking time. No, it looks like we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, let's start from the bottom. Yeah, see, you haven't been improved with at all. Yes, I confirmed it. Doing shit over the uh, monthly barrier is totally not worth it. Alright, and this is who now? Alright, so you don't give me a tooltip. Thanks, guy. Uh, so I guess you can come back then. Get fucked. You will give me a tooltip, or you will not do anything. Alright, improve relations with you as well, then. Uh, you just went immediately back there. Excuse me, but no. I think this, this diplomat dude is bugged. There we go. Fixed him. Although, he did. It was apparently an outraged country. Screw, go away. Uh, allies, fuck it. Improve relations with my allies. And Trent. Actually, no, I need, I need a dude. That was an accident. Let's take you back and uh, use you to invade Trent. Who did run away for no reason. Coward. We're making a lot of money. I'm really happy with the situation we currently find ourselves in. We recently sent a diplomat. Are we improving relations with Trent? What's Trent's... Yeah, it, it was fucking Trent. That was the, the broken dude. Alright, whatever. You're gonna be gone now. Verona Mantua Trier. Let's have Milan help us out then. Yeah, whatever. So, you need how many men? Just two. Alright, we'll drop three. We'll move on. We're at war with Mantua? Yes, we are. See if we can catch any of these bastards. Oh, apparently we're catching somebody. Oh, here. You're moving to Padova. You know what? I'm gonna catch you in Padova then. Uh, you're fucked. Let's restrict the loot. You're gonna get caught and murdered. Lovely. Let's see. You're going to res. That's here. We can catch you, that'd be great. Uh, hopefully my vassal swarmy dudes is going to take care of Trent. Love to know where the fuck you're going. You're probably going to Ferrara, right? No, I'm going to catch you in mid -air. And that would be you, dead. And we're going to go to sit in Mantua, kill another army, drop a couple of dudes, and that is all she wrote for my enemies. Apart from this shit up here. Um... Looks like we've got more business to do then. Let's go and do it then. And Croatia, do your goddamn job. Fuck's sake. All of this is in the Empire, so I'm not going to give it to Milan. Milan is already at the optimal size. And that is to say, you're not getting any more fucking land. The Empire, how is it looking actually? And look at that. 
fucking purple smudge. I love it. It's great. I can take an idea. A humanist idea. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Isn't Trier one of the electors? Yes. So you kind of hate me right now. That's fine. I wonder, if I have you fully sieged, can I, like, peace over it? You're no longer an elector. That would be really fucking cool. Apparently not. That's a shame. That'd be a nice, that'd be a nice, uh, thing that you may be able to do. I might suggest that. Alright, so we're just gonna let this, uh, siege go on. Uh, so if you need a drink, feel free to get up and get one. <laughs> There's not much happening. I'm just sieging things. Um, should we go have another look over what the... I mean, humanist is good, though. That's the point. Humanist is a good idea group. On the administrative side, I would rate economic quite highly. I really want culture. Like, that is my favorite idea group in the Diplo region. Um... But Humanist is good. It is a good group. Fuck it, we're doing it. Now we're getting in this as well. Leader Siege, plus one. Sure thing, get fucked. There. Done. Done. No going back now. I've done it. I've done it. It's over. Enjoy it. Leader Siege is going to be awesome, because then every single leader we have will have a little bit of Siege. I mean, it's kind of clues in the name and all that, but it, it is good. It is very, very good. We're gonna go hang out in Balsgrafschaft by I still love that name. Look, look, fucking Croatia. Get your fucking act together. What is this? What is this? Croatia. Murder face. Murder the face. Murder the face. Oh, what the fuck? I'm speechless. If that was if that was a player, and he's obviously still an AI, he'd have fucking smacked me without being told. What is this? This is where you're going. You Ugh. sack of ass nuts. I'm trying to come up with swears that are not demonetizable. Is it working? F fucking asshole. Why? Why are you such a prick? Oh yeah, you're um, you're gonna get pieced out for war reps because fuck Milan. Uh, and also, I want your money. I think most of this is actually gonna go to Milan, right? Uh, also, we'll get 22. No, it's fine. Uh, also, and all your treaties for that sweet, sweet prestige. And that's it. I don't want your land yet. Lovely. So that's you dealt with. Oh, what's this? Pagan poetry and Christian ethics. Strap in, boys. It's a long one. The Renaissance was a period when the Greek and Roman classics were rediscovered and translated into Latin. In the Middle Ages, they had been shunned for being pagan, but now humanist scholars, uh, humanist, uh, humanist scholars evaluated them on their ideas rather than on their heresy. Ancient writers such as Plato, Socrates, and Aristotle had much to say on topics such as ethics and politics, and those ideas were just as relevant in 1415 as they had been 2,000 years earlier. The result was a flowering of philosophy, poetry, and science as the ancient classics inspired modern interpretations. However, it was also a time of increased skepticism about religion. If a pagan who died long before Christ was born could use logic to determine good and evil, what did that say about the Bible? To many Austrian philosophers, the answer was simple. Being a good Christian meant following a code of ethics, not following the Bible. One could live an ethical life by being honest, hardworking, generous and kind without ever touching a relic, going on a pilgrimage, or purchasing an indulgence. But then where did this leave the church? Another question was where it left our own people, lacking a Roman heritage of our own. Fucking says you, I'm the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, which is totally Roman. Fuck you. Uh, lacking a Roman heritage of our own, we had to scour their texts for any mention of our ancestors, attempting to build a national heritage from that kernel. Hmm, okay, so... 100 admin, 
lose 10 pale influence, and we run the risk of being excommunicated. Or 75, religious scandal. Or ooh, it's a it's a it's a it's a doozy. He's not gonna fucking do that to me, is he? He loves me. He, he loves me. Let's 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 make sure he loves me a little bit more than he already loves me. Love me. Uh, the, the admin points are too too damn good to pass up. I'm sure the church will understand that. They are an indulgent lot, after all. So, are you going to come and attack me here? Because that, that would be the smart move by you. Oh, God. The Catholic Church had appointed a bishop to root out the Lollard heresy in Austria and given him the powers necessary to excommunicate and dispose heretics of their benefices. However, the Church soon found that its authority in Austria was limited without the support of the Prince. Ironically, one of the chief tenets of Lollardy was the idea that the Prince, not the Pope, should be head of the Church in Austria. Displeased with the situation, the Pope sent a strongly worded missive to Alexander I, demanding that he do his Christian duty and reinstate Catholic priests loyal to Roma while excommunicating the heretics and placing them on trial, something that should have been done years ago. The Pope hinted darkly that unless the Prince agreed to persecute the Hussites, the Church might have to call a crusade to set things right. Lose stability. That would suck. Find ways to delay. I'm okay with that. Expel the legate. Lose the stability. <laughs> Fuck you! I'm not losing a stability. Get fucked. I will do everything in my power to not lose stability. Also, I don't need to be here, so I'm gonna go and defend uh, these guys by moving into Bozen. This is this is fucking chess right here. Play, oh, you wanna go? This seems odd. Excellent vintage. Five prestige. I'll take that. Uh, yes, yes. Attack him. Uh, why not? You know what? Let's see if we can get there. No, no, no. He's fucked. Also, you're losing, because there's no fort there. You chose the one province that didn't have a fucking fort to attack him in. GG, no re, whatever. Uh, let's give you the leader, because why not? And we'll just uh, we'll just continue. You're sieging that, it's cool, good stuff. We've lost a diplomatic insult, cast his belly against Burgundy. You are not beneath France, but you are allied with Castile. I'm not too much a fan of the idea of going to war with Castile, so for now, we're going to be friends. Alright, here, war reps, end your rivalry, end all of this shit, and transfer trade power, fuck it, when are, or do I want your money? 15 ducats, fuck your 15 ducats, there you go. Right, I believe that just leaves Trier and, um... Trent himself. Trentino. Trenty boy. Oh yeah, you're also gonna come, like, to Obersteiermark. Because why not? Right. Pope, we're, we're super friends, right? We're super friendly with each other. Who's got to... Oh, Naples still got disputed succession. So has Portugal. Alright, that's one siege there. Finally, I have some loot. Yay! Uh, but honestly, though, if you, if you want peace, I'll totally give you peace. Just give me war reps and your money. And your rivalry. Less money? No. Alright. Uh, and your alliance with Trent. I mean, he's gonna die now anyway, so who gives a fuck, right? Uh, I don't really care about your alliance with Ulick. That's you dealt with. You can also come to Ogre Steiermark. And finally, Trent is mine. Took a damn long time. But we did. What should be like a shit high fucking uh, coalition? I have to say no. 18 aggressive expansion. Really ridiculous though, right? It's not just me who thinks that. Anyway, whatever. Trent's mine. Ta da! Fucking yeah. Alright, so, um, four ducats. Sweet, sweet ducats. Everyone go to free wool. Why not? And I guess we're going to hang out until we can uh, push for Padua. Oh, we've also got these Trentinian separatists. Uh, I guess we're going to have to deal with you at some point, because Croatia is too fucking inept. Everyone, everyone stay in Trenton. Or, I guess, like, where are they going to have to go, right? They're going to have to go somewhere. 
if we sit in Carnton, we, we should be able to catch... Oh no, you're gonna go and die over there. That's fine. Alright, Trent, start the core. It's gonna be finished in... 10 years. Because of course it is. Trentinian Separatists have entered. And you're actually beating the Croatians. Jesus Christ. Croatia, what happened to you? You used to be fucking awesome. I mean, you still got... Well, it's now a 1-3, but it used to be a 3-5. Still a bloody good general. Stop being useless with him. Although, it does seem that you're pulling it back, and you've won, so good job. Yay. I take it all back. Uh, let's go hang out in Gores. Disputed succession. Portugal is, is real tempting. It's, it's real tempting, but they won't say yes, so it's irrelevant. Uh, what happens if you die? Portugal inherited by England, just flat out fucking mine. Um, you still, oh no, it's now between Austria and Aragon. Is that because Hungary's prestige is lower than Aragon's? It might well be. It might well be. Okay, fair enough. 515 ducats. Fuck yes. Alright, so, Praha, it's important that we get rid of these. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough. Uh, it's also important that we get rid of these ones as well. But yeah, Praha first. I could also get an art corporation, which is Urban Gravity. Burgundy's inherited Hainaut. Is that another fucking emperor, empire place? Alright, let's recall you. Hainaut is here. Hainaut is... in the empire. So you just inherited more shit in my fucking territory. I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to put a stop to this. God damn, there's so much. Castile will join, but Castile is real close to not wanting to join. Can I make you happy enough with me? We're at nine out of nine. What can we get rid of here? Honestly, nothing. I'm willing to go at, at 10 though. I'm willing, I'm willing to go above. There's a bit of dip. Because I want Castile to be um, mine. Uh, sorry, not mine, but like not, not against me, right? I don't want to fight Castile. So if I improve relations a bit with you as well. Like what, what is it at right now? Castile, still negative seven. Oh, attitude towards enemies is uh, maximum. Fuck. Austrian Cardinal will die. God damn, I lost all of my Cardinals. Literally all of them. God damn. I don't think my Cardinals died. I think they were assassinated. I would love to do Imperial Ban and just have him release all of the people. Um, that would be so good, but how do I get around it? You know what, I'm going to have a think, but um, in the meantime, I am going to take a short break here. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.